Russia is putting the U.S. on notice this morning as the Biden administration sends more weapons to Ukraine. Russian President Vladimir Putin warned the White House to stop arming Ukraine and said there would be, quote, unpredictable consequences. The warning comes as Moscow escalates its offensive in eastern Ukraine and tries to recover from recent major defeats, including the sinking of one of its warships. Deborah Alfaron is at the White House with the very latest. Deborah, good morning. Good morning, Michelle. The White House says that $800 million worth of weapons are expected to arrive in Ukraine soon. This, as the administration is considering which high-level ranking official they're going to send to Ukraine as an additional show of support. The latest shipment of weapons by the Biden administration brings the total to more than $2.5 billion since the Russian invasion began 52 days ago. For the first time, weapons will include heavy artillery in addition to more Javelin anti-tank missiles. We're continuing to supply Ukraine with the weapons resources they need to defend their country. We won't be able to advertise every piece of security we give because our allies and partners are supplying to Ukraine through us. But advanced weapons and ammunition are flowing in every single day. Russia is drawing a line, sending a formal diplomatic note to the Biden administration, warning the U.S. against further arming Ukraine. As the conflict intensifies in eastern Ukraine, President Volodymyr Zelensky has been hosting a number of allied leaders in the capital, Kyiv, including a surprise visit by UK's Prime Minister Boris Johnson last weekend. Before he boarded Air Force One Thursday, President Biden was asked if he would go. Will you send senior officials to Ukraine? Well, we're making that decision now. Thank you. Who would you send? What was the reason? You ready to go? Are you? Yeah. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki said the president would not make that trip. He is ready. He's ready for anything. The man likes a fast car, some aviators. He's ready to go to Ukraine. Um, <laughs> it's true. He does. Uh, we are not sending the president to Ukraine. Both the president and vice president have visited neighboring countries since Russia invaded Ukraine, but the logistics, just the security involved with sending someone so high level, it's incredibly enormous. Dana. All right, Deborah, thank you very much.